Hi, my name is Lance. You're watching the Nog Log. We are going to go deck by deck here on the Carnival Radiance. Every deck that has state rooms, that is, and check out the door decorations that people have put up. If they're great, we're going to give a shout out. If they're bad, I'm going to roast you. Now, I've noticed not a lot of people have put out door decor on this short three-day sailing, so we're not going to get a whole lot of volume this time around, but we'll see if we can get some winners along the way. I'm cruising solo on this one, but because I don't have my wife Brandy or my daughter Charlie to help me in the review of the door decor, we're going to have Sir Pirate Punch help us out. Let us know in the comments which one was your favorite. Let's start here on deck 11, the spa deck. First one, not too bad. As you see, there are not a lot of staterooms here. <gasps> but look what we just found. And it's a fire one on the fire alarm. Thank you, Tate Carlson family. We're gonna give this to our daughter. It looks like we just had those two options. But we did find a duck. Can the duck be the winner? All right, unofficially, the duck's the winner. Since we have to pick a winner, I'll go with the starfish and the shovels. Let's go down to deck 10. A little bit more staterooms on deck 10, but not a whole lot, because it's only on the forward part of the ship. Cruising and boozing and a sandal. Same ones. So it looks like they got four cabins in their group. I control air traffic. What is your superpower? Props to him if that's what he does. Oh, they got another deck. Happy 62. Make sure to celebrate. They definitely are with six cabins, seven cabins now. All right, here are the signs that we do not show normally because there's so few on the sailing, we might have to include it. All right, our winner, it's gonna be the birthday door. Happy 62nd. Down to deck nine. It'll be a full deck. Lots more to choose from. Okay, got a little custom. We tried to be good, but then the shit. 50th. Here they got a 52nd birthday. Another 50th birthday. Get the wrong ship though. That's not. It's not the ship. Oh, I can see this one from far away. Same group, just a little bit further down. All right, all right, all right. That one's got some flair. When you're doing your door decor, you want it to stand out so you recognize your room and not have to worry about remembering what your room number was. You'll have to know your room number, but it just makes it easier when you turn down a hall. Oh yeah, there's my room, it's right there. Sometimes you might have had a little bit too much to drink and you need that. You also want it to stand out by representing yourself, representing your family, what you like to do, who you are, all that good stuff. Here, it's a Mario. So I bet they had a kid maybe that had a birthday or a grown up. All right, you don't always have to decorate your door. You can do it right around it. Officially, Carnival rules on their website say do not decorate around the door, but I'm guilty of that. More birthdays, a lot of birthdays. Oh, I celebrate Easter. That's first, not just the birthdays. You know what? I'm gonna give it to the Easter door. I think that's it. Yep, just goes out up to the Lido. All right, you know what? I'm gonna give the winner of deck nine to Easter. Too many birthdays, they all cancel out. Easter Bunny gets the carrot. Down to deck eight, the real first full deck. It's my day. Zooming birthday for a princess. Festive, festive, like it. Oh, here we go, bride to be. That's right, weekend, let's go. Here's your Venmo. Send them some money, people. I should put my Venmo in here, right? Maybe someone will send me money for doing all this hard work. We're gonna have more of the same here for this group of bachelorettes. So no need to spend a whole lot of time on it. And this is a birthday, but it still actually looks like it's with the others. 
Not sure if that's supposed to be door decor. Sometimes you just need something last minute. They're gonna be shocked by my door decor. Is anybody on this cruise that's not celebrating a birthday? Technically, this is somewhat of a birthday gift from my wife to me, even though I pay for it. She just lets me go by myself every March. Well, two Marches in a row, so we're gonna try to make it a thing. Or should I go next March? Let us know in the comments. What short sailing should I take? Should it even be on Carnival? What would you recommend? Surprise, surprise, birthday. Same as above and oh my goodness. Where are you gonna put your leg? I think that one's gonna be tough to beat. More birthdays. All right, this one's not too bad, although I bet they gets really tough to get in and out of their room. And look at all that horrible tape. If my wife was here, she'd scold them. I see more of what I think was that bachelorette group. Well, they just had a ribbon on a hook. That works. I probably would have got a bigger ribbon. See, I thought that was bachelorette, but now it says birthday. Could they be doing more? Hey. All right. They're serving the purpose. They're not trying to win the competition or anything. And that's what I talked about because this hallway is so mundane. All you see is doors and doors and doors. And until you're in front of the door, you really don't know what room that one particularly is. So you have to just do math with counting down or counting up. Don't need to do all that. Go to door decor, just know which way you need to go. All right, I saw this one from far away. We've got treasure map. They could have maybe had it go. A little more. You can come by. I'm actually waiting for you. You're in that one. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! You're gonna be on YouTube now. Stop. Stop. Uh, so that is just um, no board. That's it. All right. Best of deck eight. We have the constellation winner, the pirate map. That's pretty cool because you can see it from far away. But definitely the winner. Sure, it's a bachelorette party. I don't know if it's the same one that's on this floor. Very well, could be. It's where do you want to kiss the half naked man? Let us know in the comments where you want to kiss the half naked man. My goodness. Oh, no, not the birthday one. Girls trip. Marine and Melanie. Uh, underway. Blur it, it just says underwear three way. X7's doing a good job here. No kids, no problems. I could drink to that. I mean, for a limited amount of time. Three days. I do miss my Charlie. And Brandy. Starbucks cup, eh? Represent you. <laughs> That's what I say. There was two large winning parties that were boarding the ship. They always get to board first, even in front of Platinum and Diamond, because they actually have the wedding right there that afternoon. So it's not just celebrating a wedding, it's actually having the wedding on the ship, which is pretty cool. Anyways, we ha I haven't seen anything to say celebrating that just yet, but there were so many people in each of those two parties. Who knows you know, how many doors that they actually are staying in. Ocean waves and lazy days. Last sail before the veil. Okay, I have not heard that one yet. Last sail before the veil. Drinks like a sailor. That's pretty cool, I like that. Bride to be. Hey, this looks like uh, from the deck above. Oops, my bad. I'm totally dug in. Fancy brands, lipstick. Is this a shopping cruise? Or is it just clueless? Oh, clueless is what it is. Look at there. Mommy. Cruising with my homies. I got it. It all makes sense now. I just was walking the wrong direction. That is not the kind of map I thought. They do have ships. Happy birthday. Hey, you can get candy. Or a blow pop. Congrats. This is another birthday one. All right, the winner of deck seven is last sail before the veil. 
of all the door decor reviews that we've done, I've yet to see that catchphrase for a bachelorette party. It looked like it was also somewhat custom made. They didn't just buy it. Maybe they did, I don't know, but I haven't seen before and it rhymed. So I like all of those things. Down to deck six. Or they must be friends with the people above us because that looks exactly the same. All right, if there are any more birthdays that are from the carnival stock kit, I'm not going to include them unless you wrote something funny or someone else wrote something funny on yours. Otherwise, you know what that looks like. You don't need to see it again. Sorry if it's your birthday and you're on a lower deck. As I say that, but this one has their own custom tapestry. Oh, interesting. Write us notes. Dang it, I don't have my writer. See, yeah, Brandy, we need you. <laughs> Holy moly. One, it's cute, it's custom, but this is the exact thing we use for ours that I didn't bring, spoiler alert. This might have to win. Happy 20th birthday. I was scared there wasn't gonna be anything in this back section of deck five, but this last hallway, there's a few. You can definitely see these from down the way, even though it's super dark in this hallway. Just a couple of balloons. So I have to pick a winner. I'm gonna go with the balloons. It's a tie. Oh, not tie. They're obviously together. Actually, no, that one has a smaller yellow one. So these are your winners. That's all we can do when you have such few sample size to choose from. Well, let's go grab a drink and see you down on deck three. Is that the winner? This one? <laughs> All right, winner of deck three, which only has like, what, maybe 24 staterooms, not even that. This one, I'm glad they had that sheet of paper there or else we would have had our first offer. But alas, the streak lives on. We're gonna head down to deck two, that's where I'm staying. Then deck one, we'll pick a winner for the whole ship. So I just started on deck two. This is my door, no decor on it. First time ever that I skipped out on doing decor. A couple of reasons. One, look at the location. Literally only one person's gonna see it. Two, I have to fly in and with three day cruise, I try to pack as little as possible, have the smallest carry on as possible. Doing so, just didn't wanna bring anything big. I still probably could have brought our sign, but you know me, I always end up picking ours as my favorite anyway. So this just gives a chance for someone else. Let's see what we got over here on the other side of deck two. Well duh. I'm just trying to be creative. All right, boats and hose, bride to be. Hmm, could have put some better effort into that. That is pretty intense. Last sail before the veil. I guess it is a common phrase. Same ones, father and son trip, celebrating 2023. Look at there, the fire things are quite popular places for these ducks. So this is from Janice V from Arizona, Peoria. And it is a shamrock duck. It's funny, I didn't even think about looking for ducks or hiding ducks myself on this trip. And now I found two. Ian Moore, you left this world, but not my heart. We will travel this world together, puppy. Forever, I forever. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, time to sit. About ready for me to get another pirate punch. <gasps> We've got Sombrero Santa. Is that a mop head? Could have fooled me. Now that is unique. And then they've got their historical ones. Nice job. Very, very creative. You can just keep building and building that and it's easy to pack. I like it. Oh, they drew a picture for their mom's birthday. This must be her door. It's my wife's birthday. It's my birthday. Better give her a good present last night. 
Talking about the baked Alaska, of course. What were you thinking? All right, we got another Sombrero Santa. I'm really digging this. I have no clue what it means for this particular sailing. All right, this one looks like all that we saw on the upper decks. Got some balloons for the birthday. It's got the stems, fancy. How do you even get those on the ship? Before it gets too loud near the lobby, I think the winner for deck two is going to be custom ship wheels. The new ship wheel for every new ship and sailing that they go on. I like that. It was really neat, really clean. That's the winner for deck two. All right, one more deck to go. Deck one, lowest deck of the ship. Let's see what they got. All right, our first one for deck one. It's been a while. I've been walking around and there's nothing. Cruise forecast, 100% chance of drinking. I like it. And it's raining the glasses. How cool is that? I almost missed these. Oh, boxing gloves. This is why you have a door decoration. Look at these people all the way at the end, but still going hard with their door decor. Beginning of the road to Hawaii. I hate to tell you, we're not going to Hawaii on this particular sailing. Definitely need more than three days for that. Almost didn't walk down this way, but they got a birthday. And then a detour. Interesting. They want to work for the cruise ship? It was a little too loud on deck one because everyone was getting back on the ship from Ensenada, coming up the stairs from deck zero. So I went back to my room here on two to give the winner for deck one. And that's going to be 100% chance of drinking. It was really cute with the clouds and then the rain was the actual different types of drink glasses. But for the best of the ship here on the Carnival Radiance, it's three day sailing here in March. I'm going to go with the half-naked guy and the movable lips where you get to interact and play somewhere you want. I saw a bunch of other different bachelorette themes amongst the door decor that we saw here today. That one stood out as the, the most memorable one. And obviously it's pretty eye-catching when you walk by, so props to them for the creative application there. Honestly, even though there wasn't a high number of volume of door decor on this sailing, there were some really good things. A lot of people were celebrating birthdays, People were celebrating getting married soon. Overall, the ones that I did vote for the best, uh, I was really impressed. And because the volume wasn't that high, there wasn't that many bad ones to roast to, and that's half the fun. So hope you enjoyed this video, got some ideas for what you can do on your upcoming sailing. Let me know in the comments, which was your favorite door decor that you saw here today. As always, smash the like button if you found this video informative, and thanks for coming to take a trip with us. We're just kidding.